At 27, Sally Ride was a PhD candidate looking for work in astrophysics when she read in the Stanford paper about NASA's call for astronauts. More than 8,000 men and women applied to the program that year. 35 were accepted. One was Sally Ride. In 1983, Dr. Ride became the first American woman to orbit Earth, and her total time in space now exceeds 343 hours. Ride was preparing for her third mission when Challenger exploded in 86. Training was suspended, but Ride was appointed to the Presidential Commission investigating the accident. While working at NASA, Ride created the Office of Exploration and penned a report on the future. A former astronaut became a science fellow at Stanford University. Two years later, she was appointed to her current position as director of the California Space Institute and professor of physics at the University of California, San Diego. In her ongoing commitment to empower upper elementary and middle school girls to explore the world of science, Dr. Ride founded Sally Ride Science. Through innovative science programs, including science festivals, camps, and a national contest for students to create a new toy or game, Sally Ride Science informs and inspires girls to explore fields from astrobiology to zoology and everything in between. Dr. Sally Ride believes we can all reach for the stars, and for this she is honored today as our 2006 Spirit of the Women's Hall of Fame. I'd like to think that, uh, that I made some contribution with my flight, and I think that, uh, that we can see how uh, that uh, avenue, anyway, has really opened up to women. There have been a lot of women who have flown on space shuttle flights uh, since mine.